Hi everyone, uh, today's quick tech tip is easily adding in Google search images into Google Slides and Docs. So right here in my Google search image, a lot of people will type in um, what they want to search their image of. And in this case, I'm just going to put Par Parliament Buildings to Ottawa, Canada, being specific a bit further than Parliament Buildings, and then they'll click on Images. And then they'll search and copy and paste and go to their Google Doc or their Google Slides. We get a lot of questions about that Google Docs and Slides and importing images, how it can be very clicky. Um, I just wanted to give you a heads up in this Google search bar um, that when we search without um, looking at the tools here, these are all the image and they're not necessarily narrowed down by copyright. That's why I'm showing you right now in tools, um, you have a category called usage rights. And this one is not filtered by license. And we have obviously labeled for reuse with modification, labeled for use and so forth and non-commercial. Um, so labeled for use with modification might change the images that I have shown there based on copyright and so forth. Um, a lot of times in education, uh, we can, if we're doing a simple project and put it in, in slides, it's always good to reference um, where we got images, of course, um, but we can get away with that. But when we're doing grander scales, uh, it's we can't just take the stock photos without being aware of the copyright um, issues. So that's a lot for our students to be aware of. So we, of course, um, and for ourselves as adults, um, to know that that is something we should be aware of. Um, thank goodness that Google does have something in its own toolkit that helps us keep things a little easier and keeps us, uh, our students and ourselves, away from going into the Google search land uh, because there is this tool right inside a Google slide. So currently I have a Google slide open. And I have two things I'm going to show you. Um, one is on a Google slide and one is on a Google doc. Um, if I'm in a Google slide, I can click on at the top insert and hover over image and search the web. The box will pop up on the right hand side and it says only select images that you have confirmed that you'll have license to use. So it's already narrowed down those images and copyright that we were talking about just a few moments ago in the grander google.ca uh, or .com search. So in here, I'm going to put um, the same Parliament Buildings, Ottawa, Canada and search. And I'm going to get a lot of the sim similar um, images, but I know that these ones I can use because they've been labeled as such. For myself, I can click on once and it will allow me to insert. So I can click on an image and it will allow me to go in there. And if I click on it, I can then resize it and move it around my screen, of course. Um, and so we have a lot of options on that piece. If I go to insert and I go back to search the web again, and I get back to the same thing, I can also, instead of clicking on once and then clicking insert, I can just also click and drag the image over onto my slide. And you can see that it is moving some items around for uh, this purpose. One of the next features I'm going to show you is the Explore button, which you can find at the bottom right of your Google Slides and Google Docs. Uh, this feature is not shown in all of the G Suite for Education features um, and uh, items within the Google Suite, but definitely in Google Slides and in Google Docs, you can see this here. Uh, the reason why I like to use it is because when you click the Explore button, um, it's very similar to going to Insert Image, except I'm going to copy and paste my uh, Parliament Building, Ottawa, Canada again, and you're going to see that I do get some web results in here. And of course, here's my images again, where I can um, insert the image by clicking plus or dragging it. And this one has gone in a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to resize a little bit. You can also see it has the link um, that it, I got it from as well. So I really like that uh, option that through this um, Explore button as well. Um, in a Google drawing, you can see that at the bottom, I don't see the Explore button, but I can still go Insert uh, Image and then go Search the Web. And it's the same as I've already shown. And in a Google Doc, it would be the same Insert Image and then you can have search the web. And the same thing happens where if I search the images, they will still come up and I can pull them into the document just the same. And if I uh, click on the image, you can see that there is um, inline wrap text and break text. So if there is text going around it, you can see that there are more options here that you can click and experiment with. And of course, here's the Explore button, which we just talked about in Google Slides as well.
So this is all about inserting images from Google Search into Google Slides and Docs.